The old sailor down by the docks agreed to help me get a ride south on the White Dragon if I help him get his bird, Bird, back. How difficult can that be? I keep wondering how much he really cares about that bird, however. If he was willing to risk gamble it away in a game of cups. But, hey, that's none of my business. We've got to get the bird, which means it's time to play some cups. Or to cheat at some cups. Using science. Hey, you! What's going on? Why didn't you deliver any maps yesterday? Oh, of course, we have to return to you as well, don't we? I wasn't around, sorry. Well, there are more maps to be delivered and my customers are getting very impatient. Did you deliver the map to the Rolling Man? Yes, sir. All right, let me see his signature and I'll give you your next delivery. Well, we did get Brian's signature ages ago when we gave him his map. We've been back in Stark, in the meantime. Here's your next delivery, a map of the Northlands to a Tun Lyak, staying at the Journeyman Inn. And be quick about it, she's been waiting since the day before yesterday. And I'm afraid she's going to have to wait a bit longer, because we can't do that right now. It's a map of the Northlands. I'm supposed to deliver this to uh, Tun Lyak, staying at the Journeyman Inn. If we went to the inn, I don't think she would be there. But that's fine. It's cups time. How about a game of cups today? So there's only one way to win this, and it's by using items. In fact, let's just exit out of this again. And I'll show you these two things. What we have are these coins. I got a whole handful of these Arcadian iron coins. Iron coins. And we have this screwdriver. It's a magnetized screwdriver. Magnetized screwdriver. How about a game of cups today? Time to use some science. Okay, let's go. Just place your bet, <clears throat> investment, on the table and the game will begin. So let's get a coin. Place that on the table. Uh, April? Uh, hello? Come back here, please. I misclicked by a single pixel or something. Here's my coin. Now, how do I play? I place one cup on top of your coin, like so. Then, I shuffle them, like so. Now, you guess which cup hides your coin. If you get it right, you win another coin. Three in a row, and you win a prize. So this zooms in on them. What we have to do is use the screwdriver. Nothing happened. And then the one that moves has the coin in. Because the coin's being pulled by the screwdriver. Hey, that cup moved! I have absolutely no idea. So I'll just take a wild guess and choose this one. Uh, that's... That's correct, but... That's... You used magic, didn't you? You used your magic wand! Nah, your amulet didn't light up, did it? No, but... But... It's impossible! Because you use magic yourself? Because nobody's supposed to ever win your game? They have a name for people like you, sir. Con artist. What? I'm outraged! I'm... I'm... Outraged! What? Ever. I want my prize. Prize? You don't get a prize for winning once. Especially when you're cheating, you cheat. You want me to call the city guard? I demand a prize. Oh, by the gods of gambling. Here, take this and leave me be. Well, I'm not going to let you be, no. A calculator? Where did you get this? Oh, I don't know. Wanted off some guy who got it from someone else who's supposedly been in stock. It's a worth... I mean, it's a valuable souvenir from the mysterious and elusive world of logic. Now, would you please let me be? Let someone else play. Yes? Strangely enough, it's an old-fashioned calculator. Like the ones they used back in... 
Like the Elizabethan times. I'm not talking to you, you cheat! Well, you better do, because we need your bird. I want to play again. No, 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 not you, lady. Get your Aaron off my table. I have a right to play. I didn't use magic. You did use that magic wand there. That's magic to me. No, it's science, not magic. There's no sign that says no science allowed now, is there? What do you want from me? I want to play. Sorry, lady, that magic wand of yours will put me out of business. I'd rather close up for the day than let you play another game. I want to play again. With that magic wand of yours, you'll put me out of business. Sorry. So he still won't let us play. What we have to do is give our screwdriver to him. I'll make a trade with you. My screw... My magic wand for one of your prizes, and then I'll leave your game alone. What's the catch? No catch. You get a screw... Magic wand, and I get one of your... Exotic prizes. Hmm. All right. Fair enough. Which prize would you like? The bird. The talking bird. <laughs> that scraggly he put... A fantastic choice, young lady. Hold on a second and I'll get him for you. A fantastic choice, and I really, really mean that. You do have to have talked to the old sailor first about his bird before you can get the bird. You can play cups and win before then, but you won't be able to get the bird. April will just say that she has to think about what prize she wants. <laughs> I love that, literally shoving him into her pocket. So, you're a bird, huh? Yeah, yeah. Wait a second. Did the old man send you to get me? I guess he did. My name's April. Oh, God, is there no escape? I mean, not that I like being cooped up in a cage for gamblers to gawk at and children to spit at all day, but give me a break. It's better than being locked away in a stinking chest. Thanks a whole bunch for rescuing me, April. You're welcome. No, 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 hey, hey, that's not what I meant. I was being sarcastic. Do you know what sarcastic means? Speak all tongue? Yes, yes, hmm? No, actually, I don't. I speak English. English? English? I don't know where you're from, lady, but you're weird. Okay, so let me go already, all right? Enough with the I'm human so I can boss the bird around shtick. We're all impressed. Sorry, I promised the old man I'd win you back. I need a favor from him badly. Yeah? So what's so important you'd sacrifice a bird's happiness and well-being? The fate of two worlds, billions of people, and the balance. Yeah? Yeah? So... No. Forget it. So were you always just bird? Or did you have a better name? No. It's always been bird. My full name is That Damn Bird. I learned that when I was two weeks old. That damn bird, the old man would say. No good ball of feathers. Then he beat me with a stick. Really? Uh, no. He'd just stick me in the chest and forget about me. Which is almost as bad as beating, believe you me. I'm sorry to hear that, bird. You know, if you were my bird, I think I'd call you Crow. Yeah, well, I'm my own bird, lady, and I don't... Crow. You'd call me Crow? That's a pretty good name. It's a proper name, at least, not just an insult. Anyway, I guess I'd better get you back to your master bird. He's pining for you. All he's pining for is coin to gamble with. It's really none of my business. Sorry. <laughs> sure you are. Crow. Oh, it's Crow, is it? Is that official now? Okay, let's take him back to the old man. Which Crow isn't going to be too happy about, is he? 
But we have to do it. Here's your bird. Bird, sir. It wasn't easy, but I got him back. I sure hope you're grateful. Bird, blessed be the balance, me faithful friend and companion be back. No, 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 not back in the chest, not in the chest! Ah! 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 Now can you help me get passage on a ship? I, I be a man of me word. Speak ye with Captain Horatio Nebevea, the White Dragon, the ship behind yous. Tell him Umbrianos be sending yous to cash in on that old favor he be owing me. Thanks, old man. Ayr. Ayr. Now we can get Nebevea to let us hitch a ride. Hello. Hello. Uh -huh. You know old Umbrianos, don't you? The old drunk? Aye, he'd be a good captain once. But ever since he lost his ship, he hasn't been much worth to anyone. Be that as it may, you do owe him a favor, right? Aye, that I do. He saved my life more than once. And I wouldn't be captain of this beautiful lady if it weren't for him. Guess what? I'm here to cash in on that favor. I'll be damned. What did you do for the old geezer? Promise him your hand in marriage? Don't you mind that, old boy. Just get ready to sail south. You're giving me a lift to the island of Elias. I mean, since you're already heading for Gien. I am? That could prove a little tricky. How come? For one, there is no wind. That accursed alchemist up north has put some kind of spell on the wind. Clax, I believe his name is. Roper Clax. Lives in a bloody rock somewhere beyond Riverwood. As long as he's got his dirty claws on the wind, this vessel ain't going nowhere. Then there's a little problem with my crew. I can't very well leave the harbor without a navigator. And my last one decided he didn't much care for the sea anymore and went off to marry a serving maid. But, okay, let's say I manage to free the wind and find you a new navigator. Then will you drop me off on Elias? Ha! <laughs> you think you will be able to defeat Clax, free the wind, and find me a new navigator? By Jaws pus filled left eye, if you do such a trick, then I... I'll take you wherever you wish to go. Most likely, they'll be holding your funeral within the week, girl. <laughs> Just leave the madman be and let the army deal with him. Never you mind, as long as you keep your promise and take me to Elias. What's with Elias, anyhow? It's been deserted for hundreds of years, ever since the Dolmari fell victim to the Great Plague. I need to visit the Alation people, to listen to some of their stories. As if there aren't enough stories here. <laughs> it takes all sorts, that be for sure. So now we've got to take down an alchemist to get the wind back. No big deal, right? No big deal. I've turned into everybody's little errand boy. Girl. Person. I do one favour for one person, then BOOM! I'm running around the entire Northland solving people's problems. This time it's some whacked up magician, sorry, alchemist, up north somewhere. He has, get this, captured the wind. How the hell do you capture the wind? I mean, I can just wave my hand a bit and voila, instant wind. But who am I to argue? Magic's never really been my forte, so I don't have a choice. I'll have to travel north. Try to talk to this alchemist, this Roper Clax guy, into releasing the wind, and then come back here. I don't even know how much time we have left before chaos destroys the worlds, but I'll have to hurry. And since I'm not particularly familiar with the lay of the Northlands, so to speak, I'll need a map. Thankfully though, that map that the maps merchant gave us for Tum Lyak is in fact a map of the Northlands. It's a map of the Northlands. 
So we're good. We can go there immediately. Which means heading back this way to the city gates and heading out north. Pretty. It's a small barn. It's a farmhouse. It's some kind of cattle, but not the kind of cattle they breed in Kansas. Those monuments, they're enormous, like man-made mountains. I wonder what they are, what they were made for. The artists that did the backgrounds did a gorgeous job, didn't they? Oh hey, look who escaped. Good for you, Crow. And now the Northlands has its own world map, although it's very simple and obvious. We can either go back or into the forest. So the forest it is. It's a discarded wagon wheel. <sighs> Do you always travel like you got a two-headed Basparian nymphate on your tail? I couldn't keep up half the time. Crow, is that you? Of course, there was that pair of stunning Robin Redbreasts. Twins, did you know? It's not as if I could just leave them without a kiss or two. Or twelve, as it turned out. <sighs> Maybe I'm just out of shape after being stuck in boxes and cages and knapsacks for the past twenty years. I guess it is you. Of course it's me! How many birds do you know with both good looks and a sense of humor? You got a sense of humor? No, oh, funny. Nah, that's funny. What are you doing here, Crow? What am I doing here? What am I doing here? How about a nice to see you, Crow? Or I've missed you so much, Crow. Or at least a glad to see you out of that chest, Crow. It is nice to see you, Crow. How did you escape? Cunning, milady. Of course, that keg of Andrigan stone liquor the old geezer got his hands on didn't hurt. I've never seen such a shameful display of public drunkenness in my life. Well, not since the last time I had a thimble full of wine. Yeah, boy, were those ladies in for a surprise. When they were told I could talk, I'm sure they didn't count on my encyclopedic knowledge of Dolmari obscenities. The old man was gonna gamble me away again, you know. Went straight back to the cup's handler after the, um, celebration. So, I decided to split before they put me back in the cage. That place was like a prison without the amenities. And let's not even mention the food. Did you ever try roasted El Guan Dung? Ugh, pooey, duh, don't, ever. So, I pecked a button here and some soft tissue there and fled. I had nowhere else to fly, so I decided to join you on your, uh, quest. It sounded like a spot of good old-fashioned fun. Like a bird zone adventure. It's not as if I came after you because I like you, though. You don't have any feathers. Thank God for that. Okay, if you want to join me, I wouldn't mind some company. I'm guessing you'll be using your wings, though, and not your feet? The ground's no place for a free spirit like myself, baby. Besides, I hear there are a lot of good-looking birds in this forest. And let me tell you, they don't parade about on the ground like winged chickens. Just try to slow down once in a while. Let me catch up. Sure. But how do I get your attention if I need to talk to you? Can you whistle? Like this? <laughs> Sorry. But wait a second, I got a little flute. I could use it to call you. I'm not a sheepdog. Let's get that straight. You play your tune, and I'll consider your request. I won't be flapping to attention like a tame soldier hawk. Deal. We better get moving, though. It's getting late. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll try to keep an eye out ahead in case there's 
trouble. Hey, we've got a friend. We've got a companion. We can call him now with the flute, but he'll only really come if we need him to for a puzzle. And it does play those two same cutscenes every single time he comes and goes. Monday, July 31st. I have no idea what year it is in Arcadia. On the road north. I made a friend. He's very nice, very funny, and he's a bird. A talking bird. Crow, nay, bird. He's not actually a crow, but he reminds me of one. And his personality is a lot like Crowboy's, my favourite cartoon character. He escaped from his owner, or captor to be honest, and decided to join me on my little adventure. I'm so happy to have someone to talk to, and with luck he'll be able to help me out once in a while as well. We agreed that I'll use my flute to call on him whenever I need him. You may not be able to tell from my writing, but there's a big silly grin on my face right now. Yay! Okie dokie, let's continue. Over this way, further into the forest. Just walk along here. Can't look at anything. Oh? Oh dear. Oh dear me. Please, human, don't kill me and skin me. I haven't even sung to the soil yet. Don't worry, I'm not going to kill you or skin you. Oh my. That is good news. Very good indeed. Who are you? My name's April. What's yours? In my language, it's Bandu Umana Banta Au Rubana Bitana Benort. It means the little one who tries hard to live up to his father who sings to the soil. That's a mouthful. So, um, what do I call you? You can call me Ben Bandu, the sad little one. Banda is the name of my people. We are the little ones. Why are you sad, Ben Bandu? I'm looking for my brother. He's been gone in the forest for many days, and I've not heard him sing to us. Our people don't walk about the forest much. It's too dangerous for us. You haven't seen my brother, have you? He's short, about my height, with a tan coat and a mischievous glint in his eye. You're the first mole. The first Banda I've met. Oh dear. I hope he's all right. A lot of our people have disappeared this summer. What happened to the Banda that disappeared? We don't really know. But there's something evil in this forest. Something that doesn't like the Banda. I shouldn't be out here looking, but I must find my brother. If I see him, I'll let him know you're looking for him. Oh, thank you. Thank you ever so much. Aren't your people called the Mole People? That's what the city dwellers and farmers call us. They say it with sharp tongue. Moles. Dirt diggers. They don't like us very much. Our given name is Banda, the little ones. Or the Banda Banta, the little ones who sing to the soil. How do you sing to the soil? When we're old enough, and we found our voices, we just sing, and the earth shapes itself to our needs. We live in harmony with the earth, just like the birds do with the air. Good luck on your search, Ben Bandu. Sad little one. And the best of luck to you, April. Please, if, if you see my brother, tell him to come home. We're all so very worried. Aw, what a nice little friend. Hey Crow, would you mind doing me a favor? I was having this tete-a-tete -tete with a pretty young sparrow, but hey, Crow at your service. Did you say favor? Oh, sure thing, unless it's something extremely... No, no, make that 
even remotely dangerous. I don't like dangerous. Not at all. Just scout out the forest from your vantage point. See if you can find Ben Bandu's brother. Ben who? The mole I just met. I thought you were supposed to be watching me. Didn't you pay attention? No. Uh, mole, you said. They're savages. A lot of them. You eat birds, even. Crow, I eat birds. You probably do too. Hmm. Yeah, I love a uh, roasted duckling and a tangy orange. Oh, uh, well, yeah, 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 yeah. I see your point. Looking for a lost mole, then, are we? Yeah, and they're called the Banda. I never got into that whole PC thing. It's not Tyrox. It's the tyrant. Don't say chicks say birds. Don't say birds say women. I don't know. It's all a little too complicated for a simple man of the air like myself. Just go look for the lost mo, the lost Bandu, okay? Yes, ma'am. I had my first encounter with the Banda today. Saying Mole Man is, apparently, like a racial epithet and a big no-no with these people. His name is Ben Bandu. He was a really sweet man, or boy, or whatever he was. I can't really tell. But he was sad. Ben had lost his brother in the forest and he was looking for him. I told him I'd keep my eyes open and I urged Crow to do the same. I hope he's alright, because if he isn't, this forest is probably not such a friendly place after all. The bridge is out! Damn! The bridge has been completely destroyed. Well, damn. The edges are charred. Whatever caused this, it couldn't have been flood water or simple wear and tear. I'll have to find some other way across. This gorge is too deep to cross and the river too fierce. Well, that's no good. We can't go that way. The road continues on the other side. I really need to cross this gorge. I wonder why the bridge was destroyed, though. Let's head back this way. And there's some sort of person here now. An old woman. It's a woman, I guess. An old woman, and it looks like she's in pain. Oh, please, pretty lady, pretty please help me. I've fallen and I can't stand up. What happened to you? Oh, I was out picking bones, uh, berries, berries for my stew and flowers. Yes, pretty flowers. Then I tripped over a big old root and twisted my ankle. It hurts so. Please help me home, pretty lady, please. Where do you live? I live not far from here, not far at all. No, help me home and I'll cook you a fine stew, I promise. Yes, I promise. Just help me home and I'll reward you for your compassion. Yes, you'll have your reward. Who are you? Oh, I'm nobody, nobody at all. Just a frail old woman picking bones. Berries, picking berries for her stew so she can feed her prisoner. Guests, feed her guests and fatten them up for um, the long winter. I mean, she sounds perfectly normal, doesn't she? Why do you keep swallowing your words? Oh, because I'm just a frail, old, forgetful woman, yes. Nothing wrong here. All right, I'll help you home. Oh, yes. Thanks, plump little Trish. A nice, pretty girl, thanks. We'll help this normal old lady home. What's the worst that can happen? I still need your help, plump a pretty girl. I can't walk all the way home by myself, you see. Help me home and I'll cook you 
a good thick creamy stew. Yum, I'm getting hungry myself. Let's go. Seems legit, seems good. Lead the way, ma'am. Yes, let's go. Come on, just follow me, my sweet treat. Nothing sinister here. 